Aloha, Dobson Dolphins. Welcome to Graphic Arts with Miss Purcell and... Gray Purcell. Today, what are we gonna make, Gray? Tiki masks. Tiki masks. Do you remember where tiki masks are from? Hawaii and Polynesia. That's right. So they are wooden carved masks that you don't really wear on your face that are from Hawaii and Polynesia. Do you know what the masks are supposed to represent? Is it gods? Yes, it's gods. It's the gods from the mythology in Hawaiian and Polynesian culture. So, do you know a movie that was recently made that shows gods from these cultures? Moana. Moana, right. So if you've seen that movie, then you're a little bit familiar with the culture um, that creates tiki masks. So today, what will we need for our project, Gray? Paper. Mm -hmm. A pencil. Mm -hmm. Crayon and a marker, paintbrush, and coffee or tea. That's right. So you said crayon or a marker. We're gonna stick with black, so you can either use a black crayon, and if you choose marker, it needs to be a Sharpie marker. This is going to be for outlining, and then we're going to be painting over it with the coffee, so it needs to be a Sharpie, not a magic marker. If it's a magic marker, the marker will run. So we have to make sure that we use a permanent marker. So gather your materials, then come back and we'll get started. The first step that we have to do when we're making a tiki mask is we have to fold our paper vertically, which is hot dog style. So match up your corners, two corners and then run your finger up and down. Try to match them as perfectly as you can so that you find the middle. Way to go. So the folded side is going to be the middle of your face. The open side is going to be the outsides of the picture. So keep your folded side to the right and we'll always draw our nose on the right side. So right now we have to divide our paper into three equal parts and we'll do that by drawing two very light lines. So I'm gonna draw one about a third of the way down. It's very hard to see because I'm drawing very lightly because I don't want to be able to see this later. I want to be able to erase it very easily. So draw a line about there across, nice and light, good. And about right there, excellent. So right now we're gonna start at the top. The top, we have to put a forehead so you can choose any one of these foreheads, but we're only drawing half. So this red line is where our fold is. We're drawing from there over, and then we draw an eyebrow below it. So choose a top and draw half of it. Go ahead, Gray. Mm. Okay. This is kind of hard. We start here. This is your middle. So which one are you going to draw? Okay, so you're gonna start here, come over and up to the corner. Start here, over and up to the corner. Good. And then you need the wavy line. Good. And Did then I do just, it light? That's okay, because you want it to be darker because we need to trace it on the other side. Then you need your dots. third and we're going to make noses and eyes. So we are only only going to draw one eye and half of a nose. So if you see where that red line is, that's where the fold is on the paper. You're only drawing half of the nose and one of those eyes. So make your choice with eyes gray and then draw your eye on your paper. Go ahead and choose babe. I 
can't choose between that one and that one. Mm -hmm. Make a choice. I can do one. What if I do one from there and one from there? Only, only one. chest or hands or feet. So the first thing we're going to do is draw half of a mouth. So you're only drawing to the one side of the red line. If you want to include a tongue, you have to make sure that you don't draw the bottom of the mouth. So make a choice with your mouth. Make sure that you draw it on the top of that and leave some space below if you want to include a feet or a chest or hands. Pick one, Gray. Hmm. I'm inventing my own. That's great. I like your creativity. either hands, chest, or tiki feet. So you're only gonna do one of these. Make your choice. I'm gonna choose this one down here. So it's gonna come up like this. And then it has a semicircle foot. Okay, are you gonna put any chest, feet, or hands? No, thanks. Okay. Last thing we're gonna add to our half of a tiki face is some designs. So we can choose from any of these designs here. A lot of them are X's or diamonds, and you can put them in any of the empty areas that you like. going to go like this. So oh. I went through and I made my lines a little bit darker before I came Do over I to the window. To? You already did. And then I'm going to put it up against the window with my drawing against the glass. And then I can see through to trace it. And I'm going to trace every line on the back side. So when we have something that's the same on both sides, do you remember what that word is, Gray? No. Symmetrical. So we are only drawing half a face and then copying it so that we make sure it's going to be the same on both sides or symmetrical. to outline all of our lines in black. So you can either use a Sharpie for this step or you can use a crayon or even an oil pastel if you have those at home. So you're gonna do both sides nice and dark. You shouldn't see any pencil when you're done with this. Just black lines. 
And it doesn't matter what you use, just make sure that you're doing it nice and neat. If you accidentally might have done something wrong in your race and you can still see it, she doesn't mean that. No, you don't outline that because you erased it. And you know what? You won't even be able to see it. So I don't know if you're noticing, but we have a messy mat under us. Gray's using a Sharpie, and we put a messy mat under so that the Sharpie doesn't bleed through the paper. We're also going to be painting next with coffee. So a messy mat is a good thing to in. have you under you. That's fine. That's half not done. If you make a mistake like I just did, just figure out how to roll with it. I can make this line a little bit thicker. Hey, I was trying to do that, but I actually To hide the fact that I went off the line. It's no biggie. If you change something on one side, just make sure that you change it on the other side. to do is we're going to paint the whole thing brown. So we're using coffee just because I know not everybody has paints. If you have watercolor paints at home, use the brown watercolor paints. If you don't, use coffee. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could use maybe a Q-tip or a cotton ball dipped in coffee. Or if you don't have coffee, you could even just color it with a brown crayon or a brown marker. It's really up to you how you make this brown, but I thought it'd be fun to paint with coffee as a new medium. So you're just gonna dip your brush in the coffee and wash it over the paper, and it's just going to tint it brown. Symmetrical tiki mask. Greg, do you remember what the word symmetrical means? Both same on both sides. That's right. So if you have something on this side, it has to be on this side too. And we achieved that by folding our paper in half and tracing. We also painted with coffee today. Why did we paint these with coffee? Because we wanted it to be brown. And you can use like brown crayon or brown marker or, or brown pencil. We just want it to be brown at the end. Right, so if you don't have brown watercolors or you don't have coffee or you don't have paintbrushes, you could just color it with crayons or markers or colored pencils. Hey mom, do you know what the best part about painting with coffee is? What? That it's a scratch and sniff. Oh, somebody doesn't like the smell of coffee. Race. Neither do you. Oh, I love the smell of coffee. Mmm. <laughs> All right, want to say goodbye in Hawaiian? Yeah. Ready? Aloha. Aloha.